What you can expect to pay for an applicant tracking system is going to vary quite a bit based on your organization's needs and your size. Hi, I'm JP Medved. I am Capterra's resident HR and uh, recruiting technology specialist. And in this video, I'm going to break down for you how you should think about applicant tracking system pricing. So first of all, the, uh, the market for corporate recruiting software is massive. Right now, it's at about $1.5 billion and, and growing. Um, and applicant tracking systems are very effective. Uh, an Aberdeen study found that companies and organizations that have a formal hiring process and track uh, applicant communications using something like an applicant tracking system are 40% more likely to be classified as best of breed or best in class. So it's very important to have one of these with your organization. Now, uh, ATS pricing breaks down into three different models. The first and, and by far the most common is going to be a pay per recruiter model. Um, so what that means is you're paying for uh, every full-time recruiter or hiring manager uh, that you have accessing and using the system. Um, and these numbers uh, are, are, are ranges and, and these are going to vary quite a bit across vendors, but roughly you can expect to pay about 60 to $99 per month per recruiter. Um, so the second uh, pricing model which is a little less common, um, but what you, you'll probably run into is pay per employee. And what this is, is this is using the size of your organization um, as a kind of proxy for what you should be paying for the software. So uh, this means rather than paying for people that are actually using the software, you're paying for how many full-time employees you have at your company. Um, and to start off, you can expect to pay around uh, 4 to $7 per employee per month. Now, this will change as you get up into higher numbers. If you've got thousands or tens of thousands of employees, you can expect those numbers to come down pretty dramatically to you know, the 20 cent range uh, per employee per month. But starting out, this is about what you can expect. Um, again, a little less common than, than paying per recruiter. Um, the third model, and, and even, even less common, and typically used actually in conjunction with one of the first two, uh, is pay per job app, job opening or applicant. So what that means is you're going to be paying for the number of concurrent open jobs that you have. So if you're looking for um, an HR specialist and a programmer and a uh, content marketer, you're going to be paying for three uh, open jobs. Um, and, and you can expect to pay about uh, 5 to $19 per job, per open job per month. Um, the other model here is, is pay per applicant or, or um, candidate. Uh, and the way that's done is usually you're paying for the number of resumes that are actually in the system that, that you kind of keep in the system at any one time. Um, and that's going to be much lower. That's going to be paying, you know, four to 10 cents per resume typically uh, in the system. Again, these will be used generally in conjunction with one of the other two. Uh, now, all of these models um, can have some additional fees, so this is not going to be everything. Um, they can have set up and implementation fees uh, or support fees, um, but this is, this is the core of what you should be expecting. Uh, and again, these are all uh, per month pricing. You, you will see some annual or one-time fees, um, but I wanted to break this up to make really an apples to apples comparison for you. So. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that answers some questions. If you have additional questions, uh, please check out the uh, links in the video description below. That should have some additional information. Um, and if you're looking for an applicant tracking system, reach out to Captera. Our experts can walk you through your needs and requirements and match you up with the perfect system. And, and we'll do it all for free. Thank you.